It's Monday, July 16th, 2012, and this is the haul I got today from my farm. I've been gone a couple days, so, or three days. I haven't, gotten, I haven't uh, checked for eggs in a while. But this is, these, I think, those got put in my garden on an accident, and um, I got some cucumbers, some really cool ones. And then I got, these are really absolutely my favorite. And then there's some tomatoes. I think these are more than I can eat. I think I'm going to juice these or dry these. I'm not sure. But this is my haul for today. You can see there's kind of a, there's a lot. <laughs> I'll make some tomato juice, I think, or dry them. So that I still have more to go get out there. But um, I have some mulberries I know i got to pick. But uh, So um, it's nice getting stuff from my from my land uh, I just wish there was someone here to share it with me you know uh, I miss joy that was fun and um, <clears throat> so you know I would like someone to come and help me on my farm but really I would like someone to come and not leave so I mean it's fun having the People come and visit and volunteer and all that. I really like that, but ultimately, it's not—it's not what I'm really craving. What I'm really pursuing. I want—I um, want a companion, a friend, a lover, someone who's going to help me in my farm. And uh, anyway, so there's um. A little bit of vlogging for today. So this is uh, what I'm going to do with some of the tomatoes that I picked today. It's like I can't eat them all in one day or, well, I probably could if I really tried, but I'm not going to. I'm going to dry them. So I just cut them in half and set them on this little dryer tray that I have and I'm going to put it in the sun. Uh, I have a, there's a, I have an electric element to this but I don't know where it's at and I probably wouldn't use it if I did and so I'm just gonna put a little bit of uh, a little bit of sea salt so I have two trays of cherry tomatoes cut in half put a little bit of sea salt on them and um, now I'm gonna put these are some flowers or some flowers of some um, herb I got growing in my garden I'm just gonna crush those up and sprinkle it on top so I'm just going to set these here, those two trays for a couple days, it's on the the roof of my back porch and um, it gets a lot of sun here, the sun's already done for today but uh, yeah there it is. You see it's got some air flow underneath it, there we go. So this is a fig that came off of my tree. I'm going to eat it right now. So uh, it took me two years to get like a dozen figs. And then um, this is the third year. I don't know how many I'll get, but I got three today and there's a few more on there. But, you know, it takes like seven or eight years before you start getting a lot of figs. And by ten, by ten years, you're getting like tons of figs. So... Oh my god. That's really good. I love figs, especially these kind. <sighs> my chickens are out there. I know they're up to no good. Because they don't, the only thing they do that's good is make eggs. Everything else is bad. <laughs> so, this is my mulberry tree. Oh, there's all kinds of berries in here. They're really delicious. It's just chock full of them. So there's my haul. 
<laughs> One thing about this is it gets it's real messy. The juice is real sticky and sweet and these berries are real juicy. And uh, it's hard work because you're reaching up and your heart, your arm hurts. And so um, I got about mm, I think the, like half a gallon of berries. And I'll I'll get this twice a week. And there's more on there. I'm just tired of picking them. Yeah. So that's my haul. That's um. That's about two quarts. As you can see, you get real messy. So I'll freeze, I'll freeze most of them, because I can't eat them all that that quick, and uh, just I'll eat them eat them out throughout the year. But I'll eat a whole bunch now.